Where it's gone problematic is where it's creeped over into the female divisions or it's creeped over into just coaches recommending, you know, random general population females use this magical pill to lose a ton of weight. <laughs> What is up everyone, it's Roos. I hope everyone is doing well. Today's ASMR sip is 1907. Check out 1907 Keep on code Russo. ASMR spritz, intelligent elephant carbon, code Russo. Young LA for the pimp jacket. All other discounts in the pinned comment below. Today is a public service announcement to all my female followers i know like the one two percent of you but there are female followers who follow this channel for ped advice especially comparing their coaches you know advice to my thoughts right just random two cents opinion russo two cents here's where i'm gonna get started right don't mess with your thyroid. Please don't mess with your thyroid. For some reason, males seem to be able to restart their thyroid like it's nothing. They can mess with T2, T4, and even abuse T3. They can cause a super physiological amount of thyroid hormone, T3 being active thyroid hormone, T2 and T4 being precursors, letting the thyroid still be the master controller and pick how much T3 at once. You're basically giving it more ammunition to again, convert to T3. T3 is bypassing the safety mechanism of the thyroid and just flooding your body with active thyroid hormone. You get fat loss like crazy. You also lose tons of muscle. I don't know why T3, T4, T2 is so popular. Again, with certain bodybuilders who are hypothyroid from all the other, you know, polypharmacy they're on. Yeah, adding in some T4, T3 makes sense. Where it's gone problematic is where it's creeped over into the female divisions or it's creeped over into just coaches recommending, you know, random general population females use this magical pill to lose a ton of weight. They don't have to do anything to lose a ton of weight. Boom, they end up on T4 and or problematically end up on T3 and they get extreme results. They lose tons of weight. They're super physiological amounts of thyroid hormone going on in their body speeding up their metabolism like crazy what happens the thyroid doesn't like even with women it doesn't even like t4 and t2 in my opinion certain women but especially if they're using t3 thyroid stimulating hormone tsh which is the variable that controls the mechanism of the thyroid is going to crash. Your TSH is going to crash. And for some reason, women, sometimes it does not come back online. You see with males all the time. Might that be from the androgen level going on? I don't know. Someone smarter than me can comment down below. I'm just saying what I've noticed over time is that their TSH never comes back online. Their thyroid never goes back to normal. And Andrew, what happens is like they use this T3, they get to their prep, they're shredded to their bone on the bikini stage, and then they go off the T3 and even eating like lettuce and salads, they're gaining shit tons of fat because they have no, metabolism control and that thyroid will not come back online the tsh doesn't come back online and it could take months to recover i remember when i was sponsored by enhanced athlete we had a competitor whose bikini coach put her on t3 she looked amazing on show day she literally looked like 60 pounds obese like straight up obese three four months after and this was a chick who knew how to diet knew how to train and was still dieting trying to stop that from from happening stay away from thyroid hormones if you're a woman it's not worth the dice roll sure your thyroid could come back online and you could be fine with males it seems to be like not even that big of an issue at all with females i've seen other weird shit happen to where their physique was completely obliterated post-show by using that thyroid hormone as a crutch there's other fat burners out there for you ladies so i hope you pick something a little bit more safer i'll see you guys in my next video